Hello everyone, welcome to Wati. In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you the deep dive of the contacts page of Wati. So first of all, when you first start with your Wati account, you will want to add your existing client contact to the Wati platform uh, in order to send them the broadcast message, OBAN notification, etc. So first of all, of course, you have a technical way that is using the API to pass all your contact from your existing CRM or like, you know, other external system to the Wati platform. And now today I'm going to show you the menu way on how you can easily add your contact to Wati even if you're not technical. So first of all, you have um, two different ways. One is adding the contact one by one. Another way is to add the contact via Excel. So first of all, in adding the contact one by one, I'll show you right here. So I can make a name, um, test2022. And then the phone number, I can uh, make up a, uh, a number. So you will need to add the country code. So for example, if I'm in Hong Kong, I'll put 852. If I'm in India, um, if this is like an India number for the client, I will put um, 91. So I'm now making up a number, um, okay, um, like this. And allow broadcast and allow SMS. When you select it, that means you have the client's consent to send message with them. So it could be like, you know, your existing client, your um, uh, member that they expect to receive the message from your business number. So that is to prevent you not to get blocked by WhatsApp easily. That will not change your quality status on WhatsApp um, that can protect your number from being blocked. So next step, if I would like to add a contact attribute. So say, for example, um, what should I do? I would like to add it as um, city as Hong Kong, then I can add an attribute for them in order to um, filter them later on. Let's say if I would like to send a message to client only in Hong Kong, then I can easily filter this group of client in Hong Kong and send them a message. I will show you in the next um, video in broadcast on how you can send a um, customized message to a target group of customer. So now um, let's add this um, label first to this client, save it and save the contact. Right, you will see that um, the custom attribute is here. So for this number, test 2022, A5200000, and then you will see the um, contact attribute of Hong Kong that I added before. And however, you will see the status, this WhatsApp icon is gray out. The reason of this is that it is like a fake number that I just make up that does not have a WhatsApp account. Normally, if it is like a real WhatsApp number that is connected to a WhatsApp account, you will see like this, um, the icon is green. That means this is the valid WhatsApp number. Okay. So for the next step, I can show you the, the other way to upload by Excel. So here you will see download sample Excel. Then we will have file that you can download here. So you can easily fill in the Excel for your contact. For example, let me open this Excel right here so you'll see the format. Here, you will see the name as um, Wati Test, phone number with the country code, allow broadcast through. If you would like to add more contact in bulk, for example, I put crystal. And then number uh, 852, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, for example. And the last broadcast, that should all be true. If it's your existing client, just do it like this. And if you would like to add any attribute, so say city like just now. So I can put Hong Kong, um, Delhi, um, Mumbai, for example. So you can add different contact attribute based on your needs, uh, country. You can change to um, China, India, etc. So all this can be easily um, filled in, in the Excel form and you can save it in your computer. Later on, you can upload it to Wati in bulk and that will be showing up in your Wati platform. So apart from that, what you can do is you can sort by different filter, by the name, by the status, or by the created day. And also here as a filter, 
Just now we have add the、um, city tag. I'll give you an example right here. So say now we have、um, 5,900 contact, and I would like to only filter people in India, for example. Then I can click this filter icon, and then I will scroll down to country contains India. Then I will be able to find all the clients with the Indian tag. Here, you will see that I have 22 in total. If I remove the filter, again I will have my、um, 5,000 contact back. So here is how you can easily manage your content at different filter, and for for like you know future reference, you can see in the teaming box, and also you can use it、uh, to send out a broadcast message to the targeted group of client,、uh, and that can be based on language, based on the product that they're interested in, or based on their past inquiries. This filter can be added manually, or later on I will show you how you can easily add it automatically under automation. Thank you.